production is part of the Game Fire Network. Netcast for gamers by gamers. Welcome to Game Fire. Welcome one, welcome all, welcome to another exciting episode of Tales of Heroes right here on the Game Fire Network. This is Tales of Heroes episode number 51, 52, sorry, 52. We have a great replay here for you today. We have Aniketos playing as the Russian against Savvy Kin on the very wonderful and ever playable Angvil. So we have a... British versus Panzer Elite matchup, the very first, you know, opposing fronts only matchup that we've seen on the show so far. So it's going to be interesting to see how this one plays out. And without further ado, let me introduce myself. I am Bridger, host of the show. With me, as always, my co host, Fittensby. Welcome to the program. Always great to be here. I am very happy to present this match. I heard it was quite fantastic. Uh, we have the two Russians playing against each other with uh, Brits and Panzer Elite, like uh, Bridger had mentioned. Uh, one thing to, to note that I just noticed when I click on the Vickers MG emplacement, that uh, ever-favorite Ingeville Gap, I guess as people call it, where you can sneak into the south base, isn't present against the British, nor the Panzer Elite, yeah. nor the Americans, Normally just this, the Wehrmacht. This little so. gap right here, for some reason... The way the bunkers are set up, I guess because they don't have a wide arc of fire and there's still only two bunkers, the, if, the, if the Wehrmacht are down in the bottom, then this is not covered by the MG right. nest. So, yeah. for, for once in my life, though, I actually think that Brits play bl better from South Ingeville than, than North. I think the North is, tends to be the harder spot to play from. Uh, the south tends to be a little bit easier. Uh, you have easy access to that building there, and uh, the switchover is a little less punishing. Uh, also, you have the two VPs, and I just think that the Brits, probably what Savvy's going to do is uh, park his HQ on the 16 munitions on the right, would be my guess, and then try to do the uh, the Ingeville switch strategy, maybe get an early mortar. But uh, that's an Annie. He'll probably do get a uh, quick, probably scout car spam early on get oh wow uh, you know i was i was just looking at the right hand side if he gets that plus yeah. 16 and puts a mortar behind the hedgerow he can cover yeah. that plus 16 fuel no problem with the mortar that would yeah. be a very cool strategy. that's that that's tends to be the strategy i've been using is just get a quick mortar emplacement there and uh, you can cover all three of the high resource points there it doesn't work quite as well on the left side which is one other reason why the brits i think play better from the south they have easier access uh, over there, and Annie will probably do a little scout car spamming, uh, maybe a Panzer Grenadier or two, and then tech up to get a quick Panzer IV and some light AT uh, half tracks is what my guess is. But uh, we'll I, see how it plays out. Yeah, I find the Panzer IV is very useful against the British, who are mostly a strong infantry based, you know, and, and their artillery obviously is is very useful against infantry. A little bit less useful against tanks. Tanks are faster. Tanks can usually move out of the artillery in time, and the artillery is just less effective against tanks in general. So using tanks to counter the British usually a good thing. So we'll find out how it how it goes here. I have too many glasses on my desk. Well, better get some contacts then. Zing! All right. Ding ding ding. Are you ready? Right. I am ready. All right. We're at the ten second mark here, so we are going to unpause in five, four, three. Two, one, unpause. Now we're gonna have to find out which uh, which tactic that uh, Aniketos picks. Do you know offhand? I'm probably sure he's gonna go tank destroyer's right side, but we'll see. Uh, ever favorite strategy is to get a lieutenant first, just because it doesn't have any uh, penalty. Uh, and early on, if you, if you plan on getting lieutenant, you should probably pick up your truck right after that and then ca and plop it down on a high point. Uh, already, I kind of see Savvy maybe making a mistake. Uh, yeah. Really, a more popular strategy is if you you send your first recon squad to cap the, the plus 16. Um, yeah, why would usually... you cap that? If you're not... Well, maybe he's going to leave his HQ there for a while. I was thinking, why if would you, you leave... cap that, yeah. that strap point unless you're going to keep your HQ at the base? 
Right. If you if you keep your HQ at the base for a little while longer, which is what it looks like he's doing, considering he might be producing another Tommy squad, then uh, yeah, that's that's perfectly fine. Oh. Uh, Anaketos is gonna lose his. Yeah, that's grab, bad like, micro by Anaketos. Nice job, Annie. Nice job. You really impressed me on that one. Sorry. <laughs> I think I can say things like that <laughs> to him at this at this point. We've been playing together, I think, for about a year now, two v twos and such. But yeah, that's a, that's. It doesn't get much worse than that, and uh, that's a, that's really a critical mistake. Uh, Behold, second... the two points of light that somehow magically create an armored car. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm assuming we're going to have a scout car pop out of the logistics company, and uh, of course we got the Panzer Grenadiers. It's just unfortunate because um, I saw in his game against Cepha that he really used that Kettengrad very well and was able to repair... <clears throat> by going take hunters, uh, the scout cars that he's probably going to be producing. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a, that's a major major hit, and we do have the uh, headquarters truck coming up. The, the reason why it's bad to get an additional squad uh, infantry section is, is right now he's not getting any resources, and uh, if you just build a lieutenant, pick it up, and then park it there, and then once it parks, you build a mortar. It, it's I, I feel that that's a much stronger opening. Uh, because he's he's probably lost somewhere around you know 16 some odd munitions. Uh, early scout car, you know Guerre 43s on the Panzer Grenadiers, and uh, we're, we'll see how this how this little engagement's gonna gonna play out. Did he snipe that Panzer Grenadier? Is that what just happened? I think he did, because it it just yeah. dropped down real quick. <clears throat> so looks like that's very useful against the very low squad number Panzer Grenadiers. These guys are gonna get owned here. We got two squads. Now the, the lieutenant's no longer close enough to help this squad, but it doesn't matter. When you get the infantry section that close, it's, it's, yeah, it's and too Sa bad. Savvy's going to repay Anaketos and probably lose a squad right there. Another scout car coming out. 220 manpower. Uh, it's borderline abuse against British, as you can see. I mean, it's already got a level of offensive veterancy on one of them. Uh, you know, the other one will, will get it really quickly. I mean, really, it's How much very, munitions very does the British have right now? Uh, Brits have, you know, 40. They don't even have really any counter for it. Um, the Bren is the, is the main counter, because the Bren right. does a lot of damage to light vehicles, and it also, um, it also does, uh, has the ability to button it up, but you can't get a Bren for quite a while, so, I mean, I'm really, I, I thought that these, the scout car would have taken a lot more damage right now. When playing against the Americans, the rifle squad seemed to have pretty easy time killing the scout car from what yeah. I was able to see. Yeah, it's it's these things are just pretty ridiculous. Uh, you get three of them out against Brits. Uh, he just lost his lieutenant. Uh, yeah, well, he lost his scout car. So uh, I don't I don't know. Either pl both players don't seem to be on the top of their their game right now. I certainly don't really like didn't like Savvy's oh, build yeah. order. I mean, you build an extra Tommy squad for what? So you can get the movement penalty while you're while you have your truck up. That that's why you never ever ever want to do that. You got to go lieutenant and then move it if you're going to move it early. Um, otherwise, you're just kind of wasting your time. Um, now, imagine, just, though, imagine what Aniketos probably would have had the rest of this map cap because we were just fighting over here at the HQ for, like, the last two minutes. And with these scout cars, if that Kettengrad had survived, if he had been able to micro it better earlier, he would have had the whole left side capped. He's, he's got another scout car over there now. Lost another oh, we lost scout another car. one. See, yeah, once you get a couple of British infantry sections up, they can, they can fight pretty easily and, and kill these scout cars, but... Uh, it does take a little bit. Well, the main reason why he's doing so well is because uh, he's right next to his HQ, so he can yeah. reinforce. Uh, I definitely don't think Anaketos is, is really... I think he's being overly aggressive, and uh, he's really not minding his manner, so to speak. Uh, he's overextended overextended himself. Lost two lost his cat and lost two scout cars. Uh, you know, we had a small trade off where Savvy lost his uh, his lieutenant, which is definitely going to hurt him. Uh, right now, all of his squads are fundamentally useless <clears throat> to move anywhere outside of the territory that he has. So, I uh, just got a Bren, which will be somewhat of a counter uh, to the to the scout cars. Unfortunately, it's going to require for him to use the button and. Uh, I just, I, I personally have lost a lot of faith in, in that, especially against <clears throat> Panzer Elite with uh, mortar half tracks that don't go this particular building, go the other building, which is escaping me right now. But, uh, you um, know, scout after cars. The logistics. 
Uh, I can't the, <clears throat> the other one, not yeah. not that one, but the other one you can build. The second, I mean, the second building. Yeah, scout cars are great. I mean, you got 220 manpower and offensive capability of a squad. Um, they really don't take that much damage if it's one on one against a, a Tommy squad, especially against that first uh, infantry section. And really, they can cap points. And for 40 munitions, they can OP a point just by plopping their ass down on that point. So. There's really no drawback to them at this point. I know that they got a little bit of a change. They used to be extremely weak in early beta, but uh, maybe in the state that they're in now, you know, they're a little bit, maybe a little too powerful. Uh, they come, they come so damn fast that uh, <clears throat> I don't know. Brens on on the first squad here. Yep. Brens that can't really move, so you know you suppress. I mean, you button something they can't really follow up and 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 kill it. Yeah. Uh, we'll see got a the field coming soon. <clears throat> yeah, the field support truck coming out. A quick steward at this point would probably be his best. Uh, oh yeah, that would be very good. But it's going to have to counter that. He he needs to get to his second building before he can get any kinds of anti. tank Oh no, the first building has anti tank grenades. That's right. But you got to get close yeah. enough for that. Right, and plus he you know, he doesn't really have any uh, any Panzer grenadiers out on the field right now. He just got four four ca scout, <coughs> scout car opening. I mean, to be honest, he could just charge in with those four scout cars, you know, scout, which is what they're supposed to be for, used for, find the squad that's, you know, not not really doing anything and just charge up and basically own them. Uh, I think he's, he's both players are probably a little unnerved uh, right now, losing losing so much early on. Uh, we do have a Vickers going up. That's, that's interesting. Uh, definitely will will help defend his territory. I, I love mortars on this map, uh, you know, with the hedges, and especially if you go Royal Canadian Artillery, if you build a, ah. if you build a mortar emplacement right next to where Savvy's, uh, excuse me, uh, headquarters command truck is, I mean, you can mortar the strap point on the other side, so it's, uh, it's a pretty fun, fun little thing to do. Um, I'm assuming he's building a captain right now, although... No, he must be building a, a sapper squad. Uh, so he's probably going to build some kind of emplacement. Uh, and he's teching up to, uh, <laughs> to Panzer IVs and the AT half-track. Trench going up on the left side. Interesting uh, interesting little camp fest <laughs> yeah. going on. Well, he's repairing his, armor, his scout cars, which is something I like to see. Oh, wow. He's got a slit trench. He takes this strap point. So this is this is good. Obviously, he's preparing to take this strap point and then defend it against the counterattack with the slit trench there. Um, right. So that's going to be very interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering why he's only doing it with the one squad um, and not, like, with having another squad there to back it up, especially a squad of uh, Bren. Yeah. I think that's a mistake. Uh, well, I think he's, he, he's playing a little little defensively. Um, that's basically the Ingeville switch strat right right there in action. I mean, you build that trench right there, and they really can't flush you out. I mean, Annie's going to want to have all those scout cars doing something, but... He needs the chem the uh, the incendiary grenades is what he needs. Yep. He's got a light AT half-track coming out, and uh, when I play with him, this is, tends to be the strat that, that he's preferring. He doesn't really go with the mainstream strat of uh, the Panzer Grenadier spam that I've seen uh, Nystrom employ really well where you get you know the early incendiary grenades the forward HQ with the defensive operations so that everything will heal and uh, tech up you know you get larger squad sizes and then go uh, what did he, and then get light AT half tracks and Panzer IV yeah but I mean look at this you're right I mean there's nothing he can do without the uh, what did that this shell just bounced off the trench. Two shells yep. bounces off a trench. That's There's pretty ridiculous. The That's what he needed. Now he's retreating. Yep. That's your counter right there. But um, obviously it wasn't very effective because he couldn't stop him from capping due to the scout car being, you know, almost invulnerable to the uh, to the light recon squad. So now look at what we see. I mean, it looks like Savikin is playing the British the, really the way they were designed to be played. He's just parked, sat down on the right-hand side. He's got the Vickers machine gun emplacement. He's got a 17-pounder AT, which is going to have a massive range, by the way. You can see it reaches all the way to the road on the left-hand side and all the way as high as that as that uh, victory point, basically. So it's got a massive range, the ability to turn and fire anywhere within that range. So any tank 
or vehicle coming within to try and, you know, flush them out of these trenches and stuff is going to be destroyed. He's got a Boffer's 40mm cannon to help take out light vehicles and infantry, and he's got the Vickers there, and he's got the guys in the trenches. That's going to be very hard to take out. Yep, and there wow, look at that. Main car. gun destroyed very quick. Was that scout car already damaged? Or did that just take it down that quickly? It, it might have been a little damaged, but yeah, it was taken off about a fourth each shot. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a good counter, and this is what people complain about when you're playing as a British. Uh, you know, Aniketos, for, for, you know, for one thing, uh, went the opposite route. He went the route where you don't have the early mortar half-track, which is such a pain in the ass for the British. Uh, you don't have that, and that's really kind of what he needs right now. I mean, what, what he's got is is not useful uh, at all right now. I mean, those scout cars, yeah, that those those are not useful at all anymore um, for all intents and purposes. The light AT half-track is not really going to work against all those emplacements. Uh, so what he needs is he, need, he needs uh, the mortars, and uh, that he's getting the comp group company, which I think is the... Uh, that's the other building yes, that I was, that is, that forgot is the, the name of. that is the second one. <clears throat> Indeed. And, uh, so we got the Logistic, the Kampf <clears throat> Group, and the third one is Jaeger, I think, the Jaeger Command, yeah. Jaeger Company, something like that, and then the Panzer Support Command. So uh, we'll, yeah, we're going to have to try and nail those eventually. One thing to note is that uh, Savvy hasn't picked a uh, company commander yet, so not quite sure what he's going to gonna go for. He's out, He probably won't get the Royal Artillery support, because well, he doesn't really have any any artillery on the field right now. But um, interesting play style. I mean, we do have we do have the sappers with Piot, so he does have a little bit of mobile AT. Uh, I don't. Yeah, he didn't rebuild his. Uh, he just has that captain sitting there. He didn't rebuild his lieutenant. So that's really, bad. all he's got is that is that recon squad. Yeah, that's the unfortunate thing about losing an early officer. It sets you back so badly. Oh, he might be going for a flank with these, uh, with these armored cars. I don't know how effective that's going to be, but we'll see what happens. I mean, he's got this is this is sort of the quintessential how you're supposed to play the Panzer Elite versus the quintessential how you're supposed to play the British, right? I mean, the Panzer Elite, you've got massive amounts of half-tracks, light cars, and a few infantry, you know, for speed maneuvers versus the British sat down, built a bunch of emplacements and trenches, and are sitting there waiting. So uh, this is the right. can opener versus the can, apparently. <laughs> and he's changed his mind on this. He might get... Oh, there we go. He came back because the uh, strap point was captured yet again. Advanced repair, advanced repair has been uh, grabbed, so now he has the ability to repair his things faster, his uh, cars and stuff. Yep. Savvy did play it, 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 it correct in the sense that uh, he was playing against uh, a, you know, this force as opposed to what would have came out of the uh, Kampgruft company, which would have been the early mortar half tracks and infantry half tracks. So he played it correctly against that. Unfortunately, when you do that, now Annie switched and he's going to have a lot of problems. As you can see, the mortar on the right is pretty devastating. The Bofors, Bofors, whatever, 40 millimeter cannon, to me, it just seems like it goes down way too fast. Um, one one mortar barrage and you're you're in trouble. Um, and it looks like oh, we we've got like a 25 party. pounder. Yes, oh, backed by do. his HQ. Nice. <laughs> no, you're yes. backing. Don't back. Where is it landing? I can't. And he chose he chose something. Where is it? Oh, over there by the strap point is where he's landing. I was yeah. thinking he was gonna drop it on the mortar or something. Oh, I think that mortar half track just found out. Hey, there's an AT squad there too, or an AT gun <laughs> rather. Yeah, this is the good great the good trench counter. position here too, way out in front to block infantry assaults. Fanny wouldn't have lost that early Ketten. I think he could have played this a little bit better. Um, yeah, could have had the left side capped. Could have been able to pull back his scout cars earlier, repair, and really just punish Savvy. Because Savvy, I mean, he was down to what? One guy in one squad, a dead lieutenant, and two guys in the other squad, and managed to reinforce and get a Tommy squad before he really got pushed back. And uh, yeah, so he was pretty close to getting annihilated early on. He could really use the Luftwaffe so he can spot for that uh, for that ca um, the mortar half track there. Yep. 
That is a lot of cars. Yeah, it is. they're just sitting there, too. Like you said, there's <laughs> nothing they can do. I mean, I, well, no, I don't know what the hell he could do. I guess he could try and cap that strap, the uh, the victory point right now with some infantry. Uh, from behind it, maybe it would be out of range of the boffers. Whoa, the boffers actually is dead. It's not man. No, it is man. Oh, never mind, I just didn't see the thing because I forgot. It's, it doesn't have the same. Oh, he's firing uh, sort of blindly there, trying to get some infantry, but he... Missed. Yeah, he's not going to hit anything with that 25 pounder. But you we might have, as well uh, try, right? Sure. Yeah, free artillery. We have the armored command truck coming out, probably going to park it on the munitions over there. I wonder if he's got. See, I think Savvy could maybe. Use, I mean, he's teching up, but really, if you get the uh, secured resources on that field support truck, it definitely would have paid for itself by now. So, you know, raise it up to plus 34 if you're gonna gonna play like this. Another incendiary canister going off. Wow! Just kill that Tommy, uh, the uh, sapper squad. Did you see that? No, where was right it? By, on the right left by side? the captain. Just instant annihilation. That uh, and there it goes again. Oh, Another okay. The mo wow. Yeah. yeah, that's very useful for trench warfare. Yeah, uh, those sappers die so <laughs> quickly to that stuff. Uh, I wonder what. I mean, Savvy's gonna try to bust out with a Cromwell. I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, it's gonna be interesting to see. I mean, and he's got the light AT half track, which can just completely screw that strat over. It, yeah. Yeah. It's Still don't have any Panzer Shreks though. We'll see. We got two mortar half tracks now. That's that's what's going to cause so much destruction here on the right. Definitely. If he can uh, get away with it without letting his opponent. To, uh oh. Now he's got to pull out. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. I hear that. I hear that going on. One of them's in trouble. There, just barely got out. He did manage to flush those infantry out of that one building, but they didn't take too much damage. Yeah. This is why I'm saying he could really use the uh, the Luftwaffe. Oh, he's taken a, a tactic, but I don't know which one. Veteran sergeants he's got on his squads. I never know if that's very useful. I haven't been able to figure out exactly what it does. Um, well, I know I, just, I know what it, it does. It upgrades but... one of the guy's guns to yeah. uh, something else. To, some, to higher, to lower. They 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 are less susceptible to suppression, and there's something else that it does. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, yeah, I mean I mean look at that trench. It's still. I'm surprised Annie hasn't just remanned it. Really, in all, in all honesty. Which trench? Um, on the, uh, the, oh, the one that's oh, by that left, strap point that remand it that, when there's uh, nobody in it. You mean I got gotcha. you? Yeah, I mean you just let Savvy get back in there about three times. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean those guys are completely unkillable. Pretty much when they're when they're in there outside of you know say a, mor a mortar half track or, uh, or with incendiary, the incendiary. Grenades, yeah. yeah. And here we got the There's first crumble on the field. Definitely he's going to be able to counter that mortar half track. Yeah. He's got to get a light AT over there. And right now, oh, oh, he's getting blocked. Bad microing. Oh, damaged engine. That's the yeah, worst thing that could have happened. That's gone. Wow. Yeah, that's there bad. goes the light light AT half tracks. But we still got a lot of game to go, so we'll see. I mean, somehow, Aniketos has to get back in this game. He's already halfway down now, 249 to 500 in victory points. Yeah, he, he could have probably uh, capped that VP already and just held it. I mean, he just did, was not willing to sacrifice anything, and I really think that that's more or less a mistake. Uh, he could have turned the tide, and I mean, because if you... if, if if he would re would have realized how many emplacements that Savvy's made, and that the fact that he really only has like one squad on the field right now, two squads, maybe three, sorry, three squads. I mean, and th there we go. The uh, the, the uh, Cromwell's treads are broken. It's completely immobilized. How much does that one cost? Do you remember? Uh, I think it's like forty, maybe forty munitions for yeah. that ability. It's pretty maybe damn useful more. against somebody. I mean, in this case, like right now. The Cromwell stuck there. You don't have to kill the Cromwell. Just get it stuck. Yep. The first squad of tank busters. The overpriced infantry that they are. Wow. Looks like we got another. Woof. Just missed. Another 25 pounder barrage coming in. Oh wow. Yeah. So but, uh, has he picked his? Did we say he picked his regiment yet or not? He's picked something, but I, I can't tell. I'm it, guessing it's the I Royal can, Canadian Artillery. Yeah, or he's the Royal shooting Artillery. really far. I think it's probably the Royal Artillery now. Yeah. Um, but we've had the Panzer Elite pick something too, but I haven't 
seen anything doctrine specific yet. I don't know them enough it, yet to th figure out I'm what he's going. Pretty pretty sure that he's gone. Uh, it's not Liftwaffe because it. If no. you picked it, I would have been able to see it. So it's got to be tank hunters. Tank, it's tank hunters. Yeah. He's taking the first two on the right. Because again, you know, he might have telling lines. And he put a squad into that trench and just stop yeah. already, okay? I'm tired of it. I'm tired of seeing that crap over and over again. I mean, it makes the replay more interesting, but it's really unnecessary. But uh, we do have the... Looks like we're probably going to have a Firefly coming out. You know, I tried. I've tried to win as the British on Samoa. And I've had a really hard time doing it. Sefa made a post. He's had a really hard time doing it. Uh, I've tried everything not to do the, you know, emplacement. He oh, went Royal yeah, Engineers. Engineers. Yeah, I just saw yeah. that. Cromwell tank dig digging in. A little it's bit of action It's the command tank that's digging in, which is probably a good yep. thing to do for the command tank. The regular Cromwell's digging in there now. He's got it being repaired by... You know the uh, the the upgraded repairing sappers, and here comes the 25 pounder. Oh, got an armored car destroyed. Might get an infantry squad here too if he gets lucky. And we've got the tank busters shooting at the. Is that they shooting the command tank? And it hasn't done anything yet. Wow, little tiny bits of damage. Meanwhile, yeah, it's it getting repaired repair. completely. Look at this. That's a good combo. Getting the hull down and getting the. Uh, the uh, sappers with the advanced repair on it. Definitely. And there's a incendiary grenade going Ooh. off. Just, sappers just die so fast. And he's for that. running and away again. with a sliver of help. And again, Annie, you. What is the deal with that trench, man? Come on. He's trying. He's almost got it destroyed now. If he's not careful, he's going to lose three squads of infantry. Yeah, right he's there. pulling them out Thank now. Did he already lose the one on the right? I thought there was another one in a building yeah. there. Definitely. Yeah, we have a Sherman Firefly. Wow, I don't know how he's gonna how he's gonna switch this one around yeah. in the next probably five minutes. Uh, it's definitely gonna be some kind of blunder on Savvy's part. Uh, wow, it's pretty. It's a More lot. Half track of is still at it. What's he shooting at here? I thought I saw him shoot. I guess not. He's got his captain in the slit trench. Oh, he was shooting at the 17 pounder. It looks like. But it's not doing much damage with the incendiary. Maybe he was shooting at something else. I wonder what are in those barrels. <laughs> On the Cromwell. <laughs> what do you think is in those barrels, Bridger? We're going to have to ask On the, the good Cromwell. people at Raleigh. Which ba oh, and where? Uh, okay. The one that's entrenched or in place by the... By the trench on the left. Never mind, he just cancelled it. Oh, okay. Could be booze, though. I think that's what you're alluding to. <laughs> he must have taken the tank hunters. He's going for a Jagged Panther. Which certainly yeah, could that... get him back in the game, because he's got the, he must have gone the right side of it, and he's almost there. I think uh, no, he needs four CPs to get the last part, right? To get the Jagged yeah. Panther itself, so he's halfway there now. Whoa! What, what did was that I just explosion? Miss? I heard something, but I missed it. Me too. What the hell just happened? It must have been one of those beer barrels. Yeah, I guess. I, I, I <laughs> don't know what the hell that was. It was pretty loud. Yeah, Sav Savvy right now has 600 munitions. 600 Well, Aniketos is floating 900 manpower right now. It's just interesting to me that he decides to, uh, to choose the one... <laughs> the, the one uh, the one uh, regiment that doesn't have a munition sink in yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, you know, Whoa! They're... Lots of uh, AT weapons firing there, and that Cromwell has to get the hell out. Yeah. Oh, great oh. maneuvering! Great yeah. maneuvering with the artillery. That protected the Cromwell right there. He might blow up his own trench, though. He did! <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Oh, he's almost killing his own guys. He did got one of them. Yeah, I mean, we were talking earlier about uh, the captain giving the defensive bonus to. Uh, oh, and look how he look how he put those emplacements. Boffers, seventeen yeah. pounder, and the Vickers are all within that command zone. He really planned that out. He's just got the uh, commander sitting there. Oh man, Cromwell he didn't get the command. Yeah, he didn't get the Cromwell out of there in time. He's got the sappers, I think, there, but he uh, he couldn't get the Cromwell back enough, far enough. Those Panzer Shreks are just eating them up. They've got uh, level one veterancy on two of them. That's probably part of it. So, so sometimes you just get bored, Bridger, and you know you have the game pretty much won, 
but you really, really want to just take that, you know, other side and just to do something. I mean, Savvy, all he really had to do was just stay there and build emplacements and a couple tanks. I mean, he's got this, I mean, just creep, creep up on the VP, build a couple more trenches, push forward, build a couple more emplacements, get a Sherman Firefly, you know, or two, and just sit there. That's all he had to do to win. I mean, it's working. He's got him down to 140 VPs almost, and so to be aggressive like that for for what? Uh, uh, just just bug well, me. Well, you gotta keep your you gotta keep your enemy busy. You just gotta make sure that if you're aggressive like that, you retreat fast enough so that it doesn't hurt you. You gotta be in and out, hit and run attacks type thing. And he just he yeah. just stayed a little too long with his Cromwell. He's he's staying. He's pushing too far to the left. And, uh, I mean, he's got his Firefly there, which is going to help him out um, as long as he has the range to see. I was just thinking another thing uh, that Anakin was going to have done better was to flank behind the hedge early on and basically attack the uh, headquarters command truck. Oh, yeah, because that would bypass all of the emplacements, right? Wow! Much. Was that nice. one incendiary grenade just instant killed those uh, sappers? It it might have been two, but yeah, it, it looked like just one with like a really weird dispersal. There's, a, I think, another one landed on the Firefly itself, which I'm not quite mm -hmm. sure why that. Maybe, the, maybe he threw a couple, and one was just inaccurate. Yeah. He's still about twenty percent away from the Yagged Panther, and he's down to 129 VPs. Well, he did finally get uh, secured resources, 900 munitions almost. Nothing to put it into. No munition sink whatsoever with uh, the Royal Engineer. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, it would be useful Royal if Engineer. he has to button stuff. Be very useful <laughs> for that. But button stuff, how many times would that be? 200 times? <laughs> you know it. Just kidding. 20 times? Oh, we've yeah. got a Stuart, so what he could use it for is about 300 canister shots. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think he's going to get a Martyr out. Martyr definitely would have been a, a, a good choice. Um, I definitely think that that's And now building the uh, Panzer Jager command is going to give him the necessary command points with which to get a, uh, a Jager Panther if he should so choose. The Martyr can outrange all those emplacements. And uh, earlier oh, on... Oh, oh, Stewart's getting destroyed out of control. Yeah. Oh, the hay bale wound up killing it. Nice. The titanium. The martyr bells. can't outrange the uh, the AT emplacement. I don't think can it. Yeah, it can outrange pretty much everything. The, the AT only problem with the martyr has a lot of range, dude. I'm pretty sure the AT emplacement can no. outrange it. No, no, it can't. You put it when it, normally yes, but when you put it in that lockdown mode, uh, it can outrange pretty much everything except the 25 pounder. So that's its weakness. When you put it down, I mean, a one you know well placed. Well, maybe two well-placed 25-pounder oh. shells would definitely take it out. Uh, ne needless attack, uh, needless, needless harassment by Savvy on the left side. I don't know. He managed to kill a. Uh, he lost a squad, but he managed to uh, do a lot of damage. And he's keeping them from getting resources for quite a while now. The strat point has been neutral for probably at least five minutes total, with all the fighting that he's been doing and harassing. And that's a considerable yeah. amount of resources that haven't been going to his opponent. However, it doesn't really matter, because his opponent has 400 and, and 400 for munitions and fuel here. Right. He's got a Jagged Panther. He just gets to call it in whenever he feels like it's it's time. Oh, God. Brit's in the trench. I mean, Panzer, Panzer lead, lead in, in the, the British trench. Trend. Oh, no. Get the crumble out of there. Yeah, that's always The funny. command tank has two levels of veterancy, though, so now it's given huge bonuses to that Firefly. Oh, the yeah, mortar just the destroyed the Cromwell command tank. Yeah. Did the this, Cromwell this... command tank have heavy crush? Must get heavy crush. It just went through that hedgerow. I didn't know that. I don't know. It, it might have been the uh, incendiary oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, you're right. It might have been the mortar and the incendiary. Yeah. There's, There's the Panther yeah. on the right. Doing what it's gonna do best, which is probably a little uh, HQ ownage. <laughs> One of the many HQs. Uh, I'm so disappointed with the Royal Engineers right now. 850 munitions, nothing to spend it on. Nothing. And he's like all the way pretty much down, halfway down the right side, has the whole left side. This was what we were talking about when we went over the British regiments that you get this, this extra resources and nothing to spend it on. Yeah. 
I mean, the only resources that they could be spending it on are the only activatable abilities the British have is the button um, and the Stuart canister shot. Um, and that's pretty much it. And then there's the upgrades for the for the infantry. So if he was getting a lot of infantry sections, then he could just upgrade all of them with whatever he wanted at this point. But he, you know, it's not really... He's just going to reinforce the ones he has. Oh, this is cool. You've got rifle grenades inside the trench shooting at the <laughs> other trench. Killed that. Uh-oh, we might lose a PE squad here. He's got three levels of veterans. He get it out of there. Aww. Ah. And his grenade didn't even really go off. I saw him throw it. Reverse grenade and that, uh, that, what do you call it? That gun, the Guerre, Gewehr, just, uh, just flew around. Uh, looks like he's making a pretty, pretty consolidated push on the left. Oh no, the right he's going to be able to get Look in that trench. Yeah. That's bad. He should not have had that vacated. Yeah, that's, that's basically the critical, critical mistake of this match. Yeah. Is that trench right there. And he lost he, his, uh, now here comes, okay, this is what he needs to get his, his grenade launchers back in here. Those are going to do pretty good damage. Look at that. A good chunk of damage every time those grenades land in the trench. But now they're very vulnerable sitting there in the open. They've got massive range. I don't know why he's not using that. Nice, got two of them with that shot. Dog Panther hunting down the Firefly, being getting destroyed. 25 pounder going off. The eight, Looks like well, on the 17 left pounder side. lost its crew. What did yeah. he do? Did he drop? Did he fire? Did he throw a incendiary grenade there? Yeah, enemy. enemy the uh, Yog Panther's buttoned. 25 pounder, the crucial engagement of the match to turn this around. And the VP is still what not happened? capped. What happened to the Firefly? How, oh, it, okay. He was still able to shoot, even though it was buttoned. He was still able to shoot. Yeah. That Sherman Firefly has got to stay away. I, I don't know. I think the, I don't think the Sherman Firefly outranges the Yagat Panther. It might. No. But the Yagat Panther has a huge range. His best bet is to reman that AT gun if he can. Yeah, there he's he goes. doing it right now. Sacri looks like he's going to sacrifice his squad, haul down on both of the uh, tanks. He's got. Oh! It is gone. And What's the 25 pounder sure. up to during all this, I wonder? gonna deflect off, right? He's no, got armor okay. piercing if he can use that as many times as he wants. I think he did pop armor piercing. Yeah, and it, it is piercing. Another incendiary. Uh-oh, uh-oh, that Jagged Panther's in big trouble. One more shot from armor piercing. VP is still not capped. It deflects. It's at 38, oh my god. Yeah, oh no, but the... The incendiary killed the AT! The incendiary killed the AT! The Jagged Panther gets away! <laughs> oh! Wow! Oh no! Wow, he, he, I, he's, I think he just remanned it with the with the Scout sappers car. There. Gone! Can't do it! Wow! What was it killed by the boffers? Yeah. Mortar <laughs> coming in. It's down to 30 VPs. He's gonna he's just. He's got the increased squad size now. He might be able to do it. God, uh, those improved emplacements for the win. <laughs> yeah, not only that, the uh, you got improved emplacements, and you got the captain giving the emplacements the extra, uh, the extra, fifty percent health just by being in the same territory as the captain. What he's Down really got to do, what he's really got to Go do, is get the uh, get a squad of Brens in that forward trench again. Don't let them occupy that like they did last time. But look at this—you can see the carcass of the. Um, what the hell just? <laughs> I think the 17 pounder just like exploded randomly the while it was being repaired. I don't know. That's weird. Those barrels, I'm telling yeah. you, they're really combustible. This is I mean, kind of cool. This, right? The Hulk of the Firefly is Richard, sitting there. This is a, a Tales of Heroes first. Savvy in about nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! You have a thousand munitions, Savvy. <laughs> you can sit on anything the entire game. Man, you know, and you know what? I just heard a car speed up outside. They're celebrating too for you. What the hell is the deal with that, man? Come on. You're a nice guy, but honestly. Oh, the 17 pounder lost its crew again. Something. Oh, no, it's out Nine of control. They were trying to repair it while it was out of control. I mean, what that tree needs is a freaking manpower blitz. I mean, am I right? Yeah. Seven, seven VPs left. They're taking it with seven. Yeah. <laughs> He's pretty much... Oh, he's too late to stop it with the 25-pounder. Yeah, there's it's no gonna way. He's going to kill it now. 
Here comes the here comes the end game here. Yeah, cleanup crew. The command tank is at triple veterancy, man. If only he had wow. two fireflies with which to flank that Yagad Panther. Yeah. He lost a lot of fireflies. He could have used uh, the smoke a long time ago. The smoke might've, from might've, what? The from the the Cromwell command tank. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Yeah, he could have used that on his emplacements a while ago. Would have. Uh, might have worked. Crazy, crazy, craziness, but, uh... Look at all those trenches not, and emplacements. Oh. I mean, the can opener really, succeeds. <laughs> it's not really Savvy's fault. I mean, I don't really blame him for having that much munitions. It's just bad Royal Engineer, you know, tree design. There's nothing to put your munitions into. Nothing. Nothing. I mean, you're gonna mass piots? I mean, I just don't know. Well, I just not like it could have hurt him here, but... I mean, mass Stuart canister rounds? Uh, okay. Get tank upgrades? You know, line of sight on the Cromwell? No. Firefly doesn't have anything. I mean, what are you supposed to use these extra resources oh. on? Uh, I just don't get it. He was trying to the, cap uh, the point. Did you see that? Motor? He was so close yeah. to recapping that point, and he probably would have won, too. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just brainstorming while the, uh, while this all, up oh, Firefly coming out. Might be able to take out the, the Yog Panther. King Tiger did a lot better against the Bofors than the Yog Panther does. It seemed to, to take it out in about three shots, King Tiger. It is. Well, it does have Firefly. extra health and the extra emplacements, so it might hurt the extra emplacements benefit because it's, uh, just Royal Engineers. Yeah. Will the yes. Firefly be able to kill the Yagged Panther? You've got one no. more shot. No, the Five percent gun's bug destroyed. Never mind, gun's destroyed. Look at that gigantic gun on that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> he's uh, lifting up his truck. I don't know where he's going to put it to. His HQ? <laughs> yep. Yeah. You know away. what he could? You know what he could do right now if he had if he had the uh, thing. What do you call it? Speed governors. He could rush right to the left. And retreat that squad in the slit trench Ooh, to yeah. the to it on the left side and decap it. If that's what he's thinking, which he's not thinking because he's not thinking that. <laughs> See, now, now, now that could have won him the game. That could have won him the game. And if he does that, that would that would probably win him the game. Lift up your HQ, savvy. Put it on the left side and just retreat that squad when you get there. And. Uh, that he's, would be very cool. I mean, because... He doesn't well, have he a does lieutenant have... to move him over there, and he doesn't have a, uh, a recon squad. He can move the captain over there. The captain can make it, but what has he got guarding it? Oh, he's got a... Uh... No, the scout car probably will be able to reach somebody taking that. It's 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 not going to fire because it's basically... Bolt well, it was bolted down, so I guess he... No, I think even when yeah. it's bolted down, it still fires. Mm. That's one of the advantages of it. Yeah. Almost 1,200 munitions, nothing <laughs> to spend it on. <laughs> Indeed. Used his fuel excellently. You know, it just... I guess he just probably could have used more 17-pounders to, to use the ATs. I don't know. Yeah, well, I, I think he still could have, could have won this, really. Uh, I think if he would have lifted up that truck flushed it to the left side. It's a bit of an unconventional strategy, too. He's, wait, he's going for it. He's going. Mortar half-track going. He's got two squads pounder. there. We could do it. We could do it. There's two Hetzers trying to stop him. Yeah, oh, the Hetzers. That's gonna do it. Wow. Oh. He retreated right, to, right at the decap. I mean, it's definitely well played. I'm just very disappointed about those munitions and there not being the f anything to funnel it into. Yeah. The captain going, charge! Charge! <laughs> Wait, the captain's going to the left! Ah, the scout car will He's own gonna him. try. The scout car probably will own him if he, if he notices. Ah, here comes the Jagged Panther! <laughs> you thought those puny... You thought those puny heteros would stop us, yeah? Time to take you out. I don't know why I turned into Austrian, but... <laughs> yeah, another thing is, is, I mean, he wouldn't really have had the option to do this, and the Firefly is better than all three of the right side 
of the tree tanks, but you know, we didn't. And the fireflies really still ridiculously easy to destroy. Yeah, there he goes. The we scout car owned that. him. Yeah, we didn't see any of the uh, Churchill tanks from the right side of the tree. I mean, I give I give this one to Savvy. I I, I, I would give it to him because <laughs> he obviously was winning. <laughs> Crazy comeback, Madikendos, but uh, yeah. He would have, I'm telling you, I uplifted that headquarters, went to the left side, and retreated back there for the decap, and he would have won it. Right I think there. the other thing that might have helped him is if he um, had won. No, if he'd had another 25 pounder yeah. closer to the end. If he had had another 25 pounder or, uh, or another 17 pounder, if he had not wasted quite so many resources on the left hand side there then he probably would have had room for a 25 or 17 pounder and he would have been able to counter those mortar half tracks that kept incendiary grenading all of his defenses it certainly had the time to uh, to creep up to creep up to better defend that vp on the left the right. and not I mean, done so much harassment uh, that's why this is probably the first replay that i i would say i would really give it to savvy despite uh, anaketos great comeback uh, I don't know how to phrase that eloquently, but uh, he definitely had this game. This is kind of cool. You're going to see the upgrade on the headset pop up right in the middle. There it is. They've got little little binoculars. It's like a tiny periscope or two on the top of the headset. Yeah. Go, go, That's Vickers really machine gun. <laughs> you can take out the headset. I believe in you. Use armor-piercing rounds. <laughs> Where is that fire coming from? Good question. Wow. Well, this is end game here. Well, no, actually, it's not, right? The British don't even actually die when you kill their buildings, do they? Yeah, they do. Oh, they do. Just, okay. You he have to called kill in the. the uh, okay. Yeah, and still, and he just won't give up. I don't know what he's waiting for. I don't know if they were playing on vent or talking on vent at the time or, or what, but uh, it's a friendly match. It's quite a bloody gotta match. Gotta say, congratulations to Aniketos for keeping the Yaga Panther alive the whole game. Yeah, I'm sure we're gonna see many, uh, many dead Yag Panthers and uh, King Tigers for nothing over the course of, of the game. But definitely kept that alive. I'm telling Churchill you, Churchill Crocodile. Ha! <laughs> is a Churchill even gonna be able to take out one Hetzer? I don't think it is. No. It's worthless. It's a great, it's a great like mixed tank. I gonna set you on fire. Can, uh, I mean, both shells are bouncing off. It can do. A, a, it's good against. Well, I was playing against Vermont and using it the other day. It's good against uh, grenadiers when you're fighting grenadiers and like a stug at the same time. I don't know when you would ever have that combination, <laughs> but question. yeah. I mean, it can't even kill a headset. No, you know, look at it. It can't even penetrate. It hasn't penetrated once. No. I don't think. It doesn't even have any veterancy on it either. The headset. Now it's penetrated. It's the only way that the Churchills or the Cromwells can actually do any damage is to, is to get the, the, the side and rear shots. Yeah. It actually penetrated. I've, that was the first time it penetrated a frontal armor shot on a head, so there's another deflection. Yeah. Depleted uranium, I'm sure. <laughs> Not really. I've, I've been kind of disappointed with the right hand. I mean, in the beta, that, that was the popular strat, the three-point Churchill tank. Just doesn't feel to. I mean, look how long that battle's been going on for. My God, but uh, just to me, I just really just don't like the the any of these tanks. They kind of nerfed the AVRE from what it used to be. Um, the cooldown's very short, costs 40 munitions, but doesn't have a main gun, and that's a pretty big drawback for something that's 600 manpower. But it, it's. Uh, I, I just I I think the Churchill tank is. I don't know. What do you think about it? I'm kind of spewed that I don't like it, and probably could talk for an hour on why. But what do you think? It's tough. I I feel like maybe the Churchill crocodile, not the Churchill crocodile. I feel like the Churchill crocodile should maybe be the first thing on the tree, and the Churchill. Like, just the plain Churchill tank should come at the end of the tree, and it should be much better against vehicles as well as infantry. I mean, it should just be a really good all around heavy tank, like a Panzer IV in terms of penetration and damage to infantry with heavier armor, and it comes at the end of the tree 
and, you know, make it a little bit more expensive if you have to. But, I mean, make the Churchill Crocodile the first thing on the tree because, eh, maybe not the first. I don't know. It's really hard because all three of them are too good, really, to have too early in the game. Maybe you should just switch it up. Take that first Churchill and switch it to the left. To whatever, yeah. you know, somehow to the bottom of the tree on the left or something. Or the middle of the tree on the left. And just make it better. Because right now, I feel like the regular Churchill is kind of worthless. Because it, I guess it's only useful against infantry. Which is all of the tanks that the British have, except for the Firefly, are all really good against infantry. But kind of worthless against tanks. Unless you can really, you know, flank them really well. I mean, if you play a tank hunter, if you play against a tank hunter's player, Cromwells are not going to help you. <laughs> as, as we saw, I mean... Yeah. The Hetzer Church. and the Jagged Panther are just going to eat Cromwells for breakfast. Even the Firefly couldn't do much. It couldn't penetrate the front armor. Right. I think that they need to add some kind of munitions-heavy special ability to each one of those tanks. Maybe the Churchill tank yeah. gets you know, some kind of some armor kind of upgrade. type rounds or something. That would be interesting. Yeah, yeah that's just, what they I, need. My, the other complaint that I would have is the population that these tanks take up is absolutely atrocious. I mean, I tried these yesterday on Samoa, and I just never had enough to get even two, two of these things. And, you know, they're trying to stop the tank spam, and I can understand that. But, you know, this thing has like 14 population. That's like what tigers are. More than tigers. It's tigers certainly not are better like than a tiger. <laughs> No, oh god no, no. And the, the crocodile is 16 and the other ones are 14. I mean, they nerfed it by doing the population cap thing, but my god, man. None of them are worth 14 population, especially when you're playing a British, and especially on a map like Samoa where they already have a hard time. Even on uh, even on this map, I mean, you could see Savvy played it, you know, he's a really good player and really he could never really have the population cap to uh, to to get you know, one or maybe two of them. So you got three tanks, and you can't even get one of each of them. You know, uh, it's a whole right side of a tree, and you can't get one of each of them because the population tank. I mean, there's some problem there. Uh, I mean, now he's got 1,400 munitions, 326 munitions as the uh, as the thing's done with. Um, give these guys the V1 and make it cost 350 uh, munitions. <laughs> they certainly can afford it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hear you. So. Well... A, an interesting expose into the British um, Royal Engineers doctrine and how it has no <laughs> no ammunition, munitions, no munitions yeah. heavy anything. There you go. I mean, at least with the Americans, you're always going to be using your resources for grenades and suppression fire. With uh, the Germans, you're probably going to be you know constantly using. I mean, the the Wehrmacht have huge amounts of munitions heavy stuff in every tree basically right and the panzer elite have the upgrades for their units and they have all the you know munitions heavy the grenades and the other things but with the british what do you got i mean you got the button and that's that's sort of it the button and at you know armor piercing rounds but that's it and it's if you don't have anything in the tree that specifically uses munitions what are you going to do with it so you got to make sure there's something in every tree. I agree with you completely. Yeah, definitely. We'll see how this changes in in the upcoming patches, and uh, I definitely well played. I mean, besides the early, you know, uh, micro errors which caused the loss of a, of a few units, Savvy definitely pulled out of a, of a black hole. Uh, you know, having pretty much nothing and coming back for it. And uh, you mean Anakin? No, no, no. Savvy, remember when he was down to, like, the lieutenant oh, oh, okay. and, like, three infantrymen? Right in the beginning. I'm yeah. sorry. That's what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was good. Definitely was was well played uh, by both players. I think for Annie to break through at the last minute, uh, just had enough once that Yug yeah. Panther came out. <laughs> Five was pretty was left. pretty remarkable. I just think Savvy could have better entrenched himself on the right side, harassed le less on the left. Annie, I swear to God, if I see another replay where you let someone recrew a trench by your strap, that point at least four times <laughs> four times for no reason and then have to spend two minutes each time to try to get him out of there you know with like your entire army i will scream and <laughs> i think i think he could have flanked behind and, and caused a little bit of havoc you know what would well have helped even this. more with uh aniketos mm. the panther battle group no wait yeah. <laughs> it costs way yeah. too much <laughs> to get to and then to, to buy so oh well i yeah, guess that's the but, show 
Anything yeah. else? Any final comments? Final, final comments? Uh, buff Royal Engineer Tree in some munitions heavy way. Yep. That's all. Agreed. That's the moral of the story. GG, right. guys. Aniketos is the better Russian. Apparently. All right. Yes. So thank you guys for tuning in to Tales of Heroes episode number 52. We have uh, Aniketos as the Russian versus Savikin here on GameFire.com. Don't forget to check out our audio show this week as well. It was quite good. We, we examined the uh, the Panzer Elite tactics, a.k.a. doctrines, in detail and went over the news this week. If you haven't been there, RelicRank.com has been updated. And check out our new show. It's called FPS Weekly. If you like first-person shooters, you might want to check it out. Hosted by our very own Brad Dunachik, BTD. So definitely check it out at GameFire.com. Hit me up on Steam. Play some Team Fortress 2 with me. Team ID, Bridger15. We're out. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. For Vittensby, I am Bridger. Have a good night.